how you doing beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's another day so today i'm working on a 2014 nissan Sentra, and this one i'm changing the cvt valve body on it so this has a transmission problem and um it wouldn't go on a second gear and also sometimes when it get hot it go on a limp mode and um, it wouldn't even move at all. So I tried to do my diagnose on it. It had a check engine light on for the shift solenoid. So I did my diagnose on it. And also I tried to flash the transmission to see if I could get any any luck. But um, it all came to nothing. So I just going to change the valve body on it. All right, so stay with me and let's do this together. I'm gonna bring the car up, so we're gonna All right, so here we are underneath the car and um what you're looking at is the transmission. So the valve body is uh, located inside the transmission and it's gonna come down from the bottom. So the oil pan is gonna have to come out. And um, the oil pan has 15 bolts on it. So all the 15 bolts is gonna come out. That's what you're looking at right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the oil pan out because I already drained the uh, oil from the transmission. So it's good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the oil pan out and then I'll start the job. so the oil pan is out and um i'm gonna take you through uh the valve body this is the valve body right here and um it has some fuel bolts holding it all these bolts you see they're not all gonna come out there are some fuel bolts that's gonna come out so this also is the oil filter i'm gonna replace that one because i got a new one and um there are some metal shavings that you can see from the wear and tear of the, the transmission. But um, that's a normal shavings because sometimes the grinding from the shafts, it, it brings down some metal particles. And um, but now I'm gonna take you to the, to the oil pan real quick.
okay so finally the valve body is out and this is how it looks like on the inside of the transmission so this is the room for the valve body and um let me take it down yeah this is how the valve body looks like and um it has four solenoids on, on top one two three and four and, uh, it have some sensors also on it it has some uh, also the temperature sensor on the side so I have the new one already so I'm gonna go ahead and get it ready so I can install it in the transmission this is the new valve body it's brand new in the box gonna get it ready and install it right away all right okay so the new valve body is ready to go in and like I said uh, I'm gonna flip it over real quick it only have uh, 11 bolts holding it to the transmission so it's one two three four uh five six seven eight nine ten and eleven so all these bolts you don't take it out because all these are holding the solenoids and the valve body in place so it's only 11 bolts you're gonna take out from the valve body and that's how the bolts looks like that's it right there okay so i got my oil pan also clean and nice and I have my filter ready to go. And I also, when you go to the transmission, it's all cleaned up. It's looking shiny and all new. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the new valve body. Then um, we go to the next step. okay so as you can see the valve body is installed and um all the bolts 11 bolt is tight and um and top to the specs and also i installed the oil filter as well i put a new oil filter on it so now everything here is all set now the next step is i'm gonna go ahead and put the oil pan on then i'll put some oil in then i'll go for a test drive hopefully this work out so Stay with me, don't go nowhere. All right, let's do this.
okay so as you can see the oil pan is in uh, it's well installed and nice looking clean all the bolts are tied in so now I'm gonna go ahead and plug the uh, the wire that goes on the valve body so from the valve body it come all the way out to this side on the side of the transmission and uh, to install that wire you're gonna have to push a uh, screw um, how do you call it you're gonna turn it clockwise and it's gonna go in by itself the same way when you're taking it out you turn it anti-clockwise then it comes out so I'm gonna install the wire right now then the job will be done I'm gonna put oil then we'll, we'll take a test drive all right okay so here we are um i put the oil in the car already and also i uh, reset the the coats on the transmission so as you can see transmission is showing uh no fault so i'm gonna go ahead and start the car and uh step on the road hopefully everything works so let's go for a test drive <laughs> 